With the international break over, and a couple of short months left in the league year, the title race seems to be coming down to the wire, as three teams are within one point of another. Arsenal, Liverpool, and Manchester City, with just 10 games remaining. Boy oh boy do I love years when the race or the relegation comes down to the wire. Of course, we still have 10 games to go, with a possible 30 points for any given team to separate. But the way this year has felt, this is going into the final weekend, luckily for us as fans. I was going to wait a couple more weeks to make this video in order to highlight the drama as the year comes to a close, but I feel like the most important game for all three leading clubs is happening on Sunday. Manchester City hosting Arsenal seems like its conclusion will decide the winner of the Premier League. In this video, there will be a slight structural change. Instead of more detail-oriented and story content, I will basically be giving my opinion that I have about who I think will win it all and who will stay up in the relegation battle, and what that will mean for each club. And maybe I will throw in a couple of stats to back up what I'm saying. Thank you for watching, and let's get right into the race of the ages. Liverpool vs Manchester City was propped up by the pundits as a game to decide the trophy. It kind of was, but what a game it was truly. In my opinion, Liverpool probably deserved the three points, but that's neither here nor there. The game was pretty back and forth with big chances on both sides and ended how you would expect a game of two juggernauts fighting, with a little bit of referee controversy. Watching Manchester City every week gives me some good insight into why this specific game was different for them. The previous three weeks, every single game Manchester City played, it seemed to me that City was in the opponent's third and dominating them with relentless pressure. The game against Chelsea, they should have won by the way, was just an absolute onslaught of chance after chance, where Chelsea had maybe three or four breakaways that they just barely scraped by on. Point being, even in the games Manchester City, quote, aren't the best, they still look unbeatable. I think this is why the game against Liverpool is so important. In my opinion, Liverpool looked to be the slightly better team, maybe 55-45. Don't get me wrong, Liverpool also make good teams look like child's play, but they don't seem to look as dominant as Manchester City. Liverpool feel like you can score on them, if that makes any sense. This game was a real cracker though, and regardless how you feel about the refereeing situation at the end of the game, the outcome solely benefited Arsenal. While it's fine for Liverpool and Manchester City to walk away with a point, all three for either team would have placed them at the top of the league. Here we are, with Arsenal at the top. Arsenal may just be the best team in the league. At the very least, they are in the best form out of any team in the league, maybe even the world. Liverpool almost dropped points to Forest, but with some late heroics from Alexis McAllister's masterclass in passing to Darwin Nunez, they saved some points. And as I said earlier, Manchester City barely got one point out of a team that they had four or five clear-cut chances to score in just the second half. What have Arsenal done in the past couple of months, you ask? Well, since January 20th, they have scored 33 goals in eight games, just in the Premier League alone. Also, one of those games being a 3-1 win over Liverpool. Although, the game was closer than the scoreline reflects. This is the most informed team out of all of them, and it's pretty easy to see why. Some may contest and say, well, they did almost drop points to Brentford, but if we look at the stats, Arsenal had the ball about 75% of the game, and the sole goal came against them on a mistake by the Arsenal keeper, and it wasn't even really a shot, it was a deflection. I'm not saying it's lucky, Brentford are a tough team, but Arsenal were in control the entire time. It The match this weekend at the Etihad is huge for all three teams and their title hopes. So, for obvious reasons, if Arsenal wins, it's good for Arsenal, and if City wins, it's good for City. But Liverpool fans are really hoping for a draw. Liverpool is tied with Arsenal for points, but are down on goal differential. So, 
if a draw were to happen, it would send Liverpool three points clear of City and two points clear of Arsenal. That is if Liverpool can beat Brighton. I think Liverpool also wouldn't mind if City won, but the best case scenario is a draw and the worst case is an Arsenal win. After this past week, Opta Analysis have Manchester City with the highest odds to win the title at 45%. Liverpool in second, 35%, and Arsenal at the lowest with a 19% chance to win it all. If we take a look at the Opta Analysis fixture difficulty ranking, Liverpool have the easiest schedule out of the three, but not by much, as Manchester City have a relatively similar schedule. Arsenal have the most difficult schedule in the last 10 games, which actually sits the club in the top five of all of the Premier League in hardest games remaining, while the other two clubs are near the bottom five. Arsenal having the lowest chances makes sense with how difficult of a schedule they have going forward. Arsenal absolutely have the means to finish this out though, and with the form they are in, I think they might be the most threatening team for the title. One last thing to note about the remaining schedule is that all three title challengers play Tottenham, who are in dire need of points, while they look to secure a Champions League spot for next season. If any of the three teams drop points to Tottenham, it will likely send them out of the race. This is a stretch that feels like one draw or loss will end your team's chances, which is so wild considering that there are 10 games left. This gives me a similar feeling to the finish in 2019 when Manchester City had to win 14 consecutive games to close the season to win the league on the final match day by one point, mind you. It also brings back memories of Ilkay Gundogan's goal in the final 10 minutes to secure their championship for City in 2022. Fun fact about that year, actually, the end of the season saw the title race, Champions League, Europa League, Conference League qualifications, and relegation battle all decided on the final day for the first time in Premier League history. I hope we get so lucky as to see drama like that. In my last video on Luton, I spoke about the relegation race a bit, and I just want to highlight some things there. Unfortunately for Sheffield United and Burnley, both squads have less than a 5% chance to stay in the first division. While the chances are very slim, Burnley can at least challenge for the last spot and make things interesting. If things weren't interesting enough, last week, Forrest were deducted four points, giving Luton a one-point lead on them, and now they sit in 17th place. We will see how this ends, but a final weekend with relegation and title drama in the same year doesn't happen as often as I would like, and hopefully we get to see some of that drama unfold. I really have not the slightest clue who's going to end up winning the trophy this year. My gut says it will be City once again, but all three teams have equally convincing arguments as to why they will close it out. After this weekend is finished, the picture will be a lot clearer for me. Liverpool seem to have plot armor this year, with the fact that Klopp is leaving and all. They also have the easiest schedule and some of the Liverpool players are getting back in form after returning from injury. Arsenal have been so dominant that it doesn't feel like anyone can beat them. And this weekend's importance is highlighted more by that fact. While I think the trophy means the most to Liverpool considering the circumstances around the club and the other two teams looking primed to split the trophies for the next decade, I'm not sure with all the injuries Liverpool can finish the job. No matter what happens, this has been an incredible season. I'm so glad I got to watch it unfold every weekend. As the weather begins to warm and May approaches, we will finally see who raises the trophy. This season truly has been one for the ages.